Hello and welcome. My name is Billy York and in this SNP I'll show you how to enable nested virtualization in Hyper-V 2016. Nested virtualization was introduced in Hyper-V 2016 and it is great for demo environments, lab environments, and containerization. To enable nested virtualization you need to be logged into Hyper-V as a local administrator. Your VM also needs to be server 2016 or later. So let's get started. If I try to enable the Hyper-V server role in my VM here, it's going to throw an error because it's not enabled. Hyper-V cannot be installed. The processor does not have the required virtualization capabilities. That's okay. That's what I'm going to show you right here. First, we'll use the set VMM memory CMBLIT to disable dynamic memory enabled. The reason we do this is because Hyper-V from inside the virtual machine cannot take advantage of the dynamic memory setting. For instance, if you started up the VM with 1 gig of RAM, it would be locked in to 1 gig of RAM. Next, we'll use the set VM processor CMD lit to expose virtualization extensions as true, and this is what allows it to run Hyper-V. Next, we'll set the MAC address spoofing on with the get VM network adapter and then we'll pipe that to set VM network adapter. And the reason we want to enable MAC address spoofing, this allows for NAT switches from inside the Hyper-V virtual machine as well as transparent networking for containerization. Now let's turn our VM back on. I'll get logged in and we should be able to now enable the Hyper-V server role. As you can see, it did not throw an error this time, and now we can finish the wizard and Hyper-V will be installed after a couple of reboots. Thank you for watching.